Take a share. You are on in classroom. Welcome back to this tutorial. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to implement HTTP client in your Angular application. With the help of in-memory Angular Web DBA, we are making as a mock DBA in our CRM application and we are going to implement HTTP client in our application. So let's dive into the concept. For implementing HTTP client in your application, you have to import HTTP client module in your app module file. So I am just importing my HTTP client module from at angular common and HTTP. So I have just copied the content and paste it into my imports array. Next in this application we are already discussed we have to we are going to use as angular in memory web DAPI, right. So I am just copy the content from here and paste it into my common folder. So yeah the in memory web API was installed in my application. Next we are going to see how to implement in memory web DPI in our application. For that we have to create one service for our application and also we have to inject that service in the module file. Okay, so I am just creating one in memory web DPI service. So the service name will be user in memory. The service name. So next I am going to check the process will be I have to import HTTP in memory web DPI module in my app module file and also I have to copy the content here and have to import this module into my imports array and also next string syntax will be for root here I have to pass my created service just be before I have created a service right user in memory service so that I am just injecting the server service into the for root method next I am going to implement in memory web DBA service for my created user in memory service. So this is a, like as an interface you have to create uh, some method the mandatory method will be create db. With the help of this method we are going to make this as a mock db. Next in this we are going to implement the default user list which the user service has. So I am just cut the content from my user service file and paste it into my my in memory service. So here I have to create one local variable called as uh, users. So hereafter with the help of these users I make this as a API and using this as a mock DB. So I am just returning here the user as a object. That's it. Next I am going to create generate ID method. Since because of the ID is a primary key for Angular in memory web DBA, so I am just copy the content already is a uh, common return one. So I am just copy the content and paste it here. So the ID will be generated based on the record count. That's it. Next, we are going to implement already told you right in the Angular in memory web DBA, the primary key will be ID. So I have to add ID key explicitly in my each record. So I am just adding the ID value here and also modifying the record changes. That's it. Now I am going to inject HTTP client service into my user service file. So I have the syntax already we know. I am just creating one reference name and also the next will be the type. So here I am just injecting the HTTP client into my user service. Next I have created one local variable called as API URL. So the URL nothing but the API is a common keyword and next the users will be which we have created the object name users right which is same as the URL name. Suppose if it is a user list means your URL will be API slash user list. Got it? Next I am going to implement HTTP client method into my user service. So I am modifying the existing method which we have in earlier implementation. So the first method will be I am modifying the get user list method instead of getting the user list directly now I am going to use HTTP get method. In this method I am just passing the API URL. It will return as a observable of any data type. So I have to update my return type here. So the type should be observable of any data type. So I am just here modifying the observable of any array. Got it? So I have to return this HTTP get method so I am just returning here. 
that's it next i am going to update add user method so since it's a add user so i have to make this as a post method so with the help of http post method we can achieve this functionality so the syntax will be http followed by post and here there will be two parameter first one will be the api url and next one will be the target object so we have a api url as well as object right so i am just passing those two into this method here it will be written as a observable so we can subscribe this method so i am just subscribe here and inside the method i am just as of now i am just making one console log i am just uh, logging the corresponding response that's it next i am going to modify the delete user method so obviously we have to use http delete method so the syntax will be http delete we have to, you have to pass api url along with the id so i am going to using template literal here and inside that i am just passing the api url followed by the id which the current user has so here i am just making this as id for better reliability i am changing the existing variable name so here i have made index right so i am just changing this as a id right so now it looks good so i have to subscribe this method for future desired implementation like in future we are going to showing the uh, toaster right so that i am just using subscribe method here that's it next i am going to edit user method so in this method with the help of put method in http service we can achieve this method so the syntax followed is put followed by two parameter one will be the target api url along with id so i am just copy the content from my delete method next one will be the updated user object so already we have a updated user object right so i am just changing similarly i am just changing index by id that's it so here also i am just subscribe the method uh, for future implementation purpose here i am just as of now i am just making this as a uh, just using console.log and logging the corresponding response here that's it so i'm just comment the existing implementation next i'm going to modify get user method so obviously i have to change index by id next with the help of get method i have to pass if i suppose if i pass the id means it will return a specific id target record so inside the get method i have to pass api url followed with my target id the same syntax which we have used for delete and put so i'm just copy the content from the delete method i'm just paste the paste the content here so it will return obviously it will return as a object observable of any data type so i'm just making this as a observable of any data type so i have to return my http method here that's it so uh, as of now we have implemented our existing implementation by http client service methods right that's it so here after there is no user service service list required not required because we have already moved this functionality in angular in memory db right so i'm just remove the unwanted stuff here and also is visible flag and user list object is not required here after so i'm just comment the unwanted stuff here now we have successfully completed the implementation in service file right so we have to update the respective changes in my component model file right so that i'm just modifying the existing implementation here before what we have done we have just directly assigned the get user list into my user list right but now we are making this as a asynchronous functionality so with the help of subscription i am just assigning the users value into my user list because in the get user list method we are returning user list array right so that i am just using the method here and also for deleting method here here after the i am just passing as a user object so with the help of user object we have already a parameter called as id right so i am just using the id here and also now i am going to implement another one logic in my delete user in the user service delete user method will we will be delete the record from the db but i have to remove the record from my inbox like inbox nothing but the grid right so that i am just using filter method inside the filter method i am just removing the target deleted user record from my user list 
so i am just filtering the record and assign this user list record into my user list object so nothing but the target deleted user will be removed from my user list got it that's it next in my detail component ts file uh, i have changed the major changes in the last implementation we have changed this as a not a number validation but now with the help of route url method i am just verifying whether this is a edit route or not so i am just modifying the logic here that's it other than that everything is same as our earlier implementation so here also the get user now the get user will be asynchronous method so i am just using the subscription here in inside that the method will be written as a observable of any data type right so nothing but the user data so i am just using subscribe method here and assign the value to my current user object that's it next uh, in the submit method i think edit user everything is fine i think yeah it's good nothing to change and also add user also everything is okay fine so i think here we don't need to touch anything next we are going to change the respective changes in my component html file so i am just opening user component html so here before i am just passing the id but now here after i am just passing his as a user object that's it now i am going to start the server for verifying the changes whether it works or not the earlier implementation like yeah i can able to fetch the record with the help of in memory of bba right next i am going to add the record for verifying the post method so here i am just adding the record rahul and rohit the age will be 45 and i am just uh, typing the email value rahul@gmail.com that's it so if i am clicking the record means the record should be saved yeah it works next i am going to checking the delete functionality if i am deleting the record yeah successfully the record was deleted next the remaining method will be edit method right so i am just clicking the edit button so i am just uh, very changing some first name and last name value so the name will be john the last name will be david let it be david yeah okay fine so if i am clicking the record means the record should be updated yeah we have successfully completed the post delete put and get method for getting the chat implementation we have to uh, install toaster functionality so for that in our application i am going to use ngx toaster so i am just copy the content here and paste it into my command prompt so i am going to install this toaster into my application so it will takes time if it is installed we can go for the next step what we how we need to how we are going to implement this toaster in our application so the step will be you have to install the toaster first next you have to install angular animation in our application and the next step will be you have to add the css into our style css files and next will be you have to import toaster module in your app module file the final step will be you have to inject the toaster service in your respective service and with the help of that we can implement this toaster so i'm just copy the second step and paste it into my apply common prompt so i'm going to implement in install angular animation in my angular application so the next step will be i have to import the respective css into my style css file so i'm just copy the content from here and paste it into my style css file which is located under app folder yeah style css file so here i'm just import paste the content here so now the toaster respective css file will be import in my global style css file got it and the next step will be i have to import this toaster module in my app module ts file right so i'm just copy the content here so here i have to import two module one is browser module and another one is toaster module so i'm just copy the those two content here and paste it into my app module ts file in the import section so i'm just after the in memory service i'm just paste the content and next i'm going to copy this module and import into my import array so i'm just importing the respective module here that's it next we have to 
inject toaster service into my respective implementation right so the toaster service will be uh, yeah i'm just paste the content into my user service so i'm going to inject this toaster service into my user service file so the and i have to import the toaster service here yeah i have implemented that one that's it so with the help of that we are going to use ng toaster here so the method will be for success message the method called as success so this dot toaster followed by success so it will display the success message it can have two parameter one will be the message and another one will be the title so here i am just adding the message uh, like user added successfully that's it so here i am just making this title as like success like uh, like uh, user registration success or let it be registration success whatever so i am just making this as a registration success for naming purpose so if you want means you can give your own wish names okay that's it next i am going to use the same logic for my delete user as well as edit user so i am just paste the content here and also for edit user because these three method have to display the toaster right as per our existing desired implementation so in the delete method i have to shown as a error because this is a delete user right so i am just doing is the error so the content i am just changing the message based on the required, uh, required methods implementation so here i am just deletion success like that so similarly for uh, registration i am just using optimization success so here also the instead of user added successfully i am just modifying this as a user updated successfully that's it yeah i think everything is okay yeah good fine nothing to change now we can check our implementation so now i am going to verify the add user toaster message so i am just adding some records in my user registration form and i'm so i'm just filling the email fields so once i click the save button means the record should be updated added to my db and the toaster should comes yeah we have successfully complete the add functionality in our crm application the next will be delete functionality so i'm just click the delete button yeah the delete toaster also comes the last one will be edit functionality so i am just editing the record i have to update some modification in the existing record so if i click the record means the record should be saved and the toaster also comes yeah it works fine so we have successfully implemented the ngx toaster in our application let us summarize what we have done so far in this video we have done http client module and ngx toaster with the help of angular in memory web web dpi we have implemented http client module and we are making as a mock db with the help of that we have implemented get post edit and delete functionality in our application with the help of ngx toaster we have shown the message to the user while performing edit delete and post method in next video we are going to see about the remaining part of our crm application in this video if you are having any doubt or if you are facing any issues please leave the comment if you like the video content is good please like and share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel by the way this is manika done signing off have a happy coding